Hello and welcome to Tom Buckle Tea Talk. You're joined by me, John Duggan, and my good friend. If you go around to us anytime soon, you'll get a 5G reception. Kevin Cooper. How you doing, mate? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> actually, um, no, I'm not good, actually. I'm in shock. Um. I realised what a five-knuckle shuffle is. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it had to be explained to you. I, well, I just never, I just never thought that's what it actually meant. I never put two and two together. That, I think that was always the joke of the name of the moon. Why else would it be called that? I, I don't know. I just never put two and two together. The I think fact it was just it a cheeky it wink. Means, it's just, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a pleasure to be in your company, John. So it's a tea talk. Have you got yes. your, your yeah? Have you got a teapot yet? I haven't, no. I, I'm not really a yeah, teapot man. kind of person. Why? I, just, I don't, I just haven't met, I'd rather just make a cup of tea and just, I, I, you know. Well, to be fair, I only use this teapot for this. <laughs> you need a tea cosy. I like a tea cosy. Talking of tea this week. Go on. No, I'm a champion. I champion Yorkshire tea and they pulled it out of the bag. They've got new flavours. So it's like your traditional tea, right. and there's one, and I, I don't know the right name for it, but it tastes as if you've dropped your biscuit in the tea, but you don't have all the crummy stuff. What so a terrible idea. <laughs> no, what, it's amazing. That? Mate, it tastes like uh, Horlicks, but it's tea. It's nice. They also what? have... Um, Hi, okay. A, they also have a jam on toast flavour, and that tastes just as good as well. It tastes amazing. Does that taste Try like it. jam on toast? It tastes like jammy tea. It's it's really uh, <laughs> See, <laughs> what I absolutely love about a cup of tea, right? Now I don't have any biscuits with me now, but when I watch Coronation Street or I'm watching mm. whatever, I'm watching my programs, I love a cup of tea with, with some biscuits because I like dunking it in. I like the sensation mm. of having biscuits. If you took that away and just had a flavored biscuit tea, <laughs> it binds. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you can still like dip your biscuit in the. Biscuit flavored tea. Yeah, but then it'd be a biscuit flavored tea with biscuit with a biscuit. If that's <laughs> making sense. It's nice. What can I say? But PG, my bad boy. Have you seen what they're doing now? What? Well, they've gone eco with the um, tea bags. So now the first company to use um, recycled um, like tea bags. Mm. So, just saying. Mm. EG that's very good. I think that's the way at the minute, though, isn't it? Everyone's going to start doing that. PG did it first. I'm saying PG is, you know, I'd go PG, <laughs> PG, Typhoo, and then Yorkshire. Do you not like your tea quite strong, then? Because PG is really weak. You, well, yeah, but I only put a dash of milk in, like, you know. I love Earl Grey like, as well. You know Earl when Grey. you like stay in a hotel and you get like tea and coffee and that, and when it's PG tips, I use I have to use like three to get a decent cup. No, just... you watch the tea. You watch the tea is that strong. If you leave it in too long, it's like. <laughs> well, I like it strong, mate. Yeah, so I, uh, I, I, like, I like it strong. A builder's tea is what they call it, don't they? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's only one big story this week, isn't there? The Are interview. You see the, the, the TV episode. What? The documentary, the interview, Oprah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what you were on about then. But yeah, the interview, did you watch it? I did. What um, did you think? <laughs> Whose side see, are you on? Right, okay, so here we go. Right, this is my this is my two pence. <clears throat> There's always three sides to a story. One side, two sides, and then the truth. Right? right. <laughs> now I've seen the crown and I know another another fact it's it's loosely based on the on the on the on the royals. I think yeah, the aren't the like procedures of it. Probably yeah, true. but so the like conversations Princess, aren't Princess Margaret in the Crown. Because I, I don't know too much about the royal family 
I only know what the, the other average person knows. When I watched mm. The Crown, Princess Margaret wasn't allowed to go here or she wasn't allowed to date somebody because it was, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they, postponed, they said she couldn't marry um, the guy she wanted, the, you know, the artist, the painter. And there was a lot of rules that she couldn't do. So I kind of understand in the interview where, what they're saying, you know, Meghan Markle saying, oh, I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I understand that because it's, it's, the royal yeah, family. Means. Yeah. Um, so it was a I, big, I, I don't know if, if, if you remember it, but when Harry was going out with Meghan, there was a big hoo-ha because she'd been married before. I mean, yeah. it's not a thing you can do in the royal family. Right. Um, there was also Oprah pointed out um, some. Yeah, Meghan Markle and what she what's the, what's the other um, what's the the other uh, woman called? What's she called? Um, Kate. Kate. Yes. Yeah. The yeah, head yeah. the headline bit is like shocking. Yeah. So one person Kate can do this, but Meghan can't. You mm. know what I mean? It's. I, I do believe that there is some restrictions on Meghan Markle. Like, I do believe that because the Royal Family is so strict about what you can and can't do. But yeah, and, I think the, pr- the press have a lot to answer for as well. Though, don't they? Yeah. So, in, in short, I believe that it's mostly true, but I reckon it is a bit fabricated a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I do believe it is true, but I believe it is fabricated maybe a little bit, you know, just to. But it's, it's mostly that. true. I heard, so when I'm at work, I listen to Chris Evans on Virgin. Right, and okay. he says that there's something that happens in humans where your perspective of something could be totally different from someone you're standing next to. Okay, yeah. Because of how you think of things happening. So it could be a case of that where it's her perspective of it in her eyes it's true but like you speak to someone else it's totally different I think the thing with it is the Harry thing isn't it but Harry has been like kind of against being in the royal family and the press and all this for years before Meghan Markle everyone's saying it's her that's done it but from what I can remember Harry's always kind of been like not Mm. enjoying it so much it's just with these interviews, I do, I do believe most of it, but I think some of it is just like, like you said, it's kind of perspective. I think that's what it is. But well, the, one thing, the one thing that really shocked me is when the one about the trip to Australia and then he says um, it's like history repeating itself. You know, when Di- Diana went to Australia and she, yeah. you know, she did such a good show that people got jealous of her and that kind of thing. I mm. mean, that, I think that... That was quite shocking, and it seemed quite truthful. What you know, what they were saying. Mm. Yeah, um, I just, I spend it, I'm kind of fascinated on how it was allowed and it, why. You know, everyone says that the royal family has this power. Yeah, if they had that much power, they'd surely this one have been allowed to wear. Yeah, but I mean, the royal family is completely different from what it was twenty years ago. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just, it's a bad state. I've, for me, watching it, like me and Freya watched it, and uh, I just said to her, this makes the British look really bad. Yeah. It's not the royal family, because you think, as an American, you're watching that, and you're like, oh, she's saying she wasn't accepted because, like, of a race and what have you. But for me, I don't really see a race that much, if I'm honest. But I think our generation kind of don't. I mean, obviously, you get the odd kind of people that do it, but um, it wouldn't bother me. And the question about what colour it would be, like this, I, I'm obviously going to be very careful what I say, but yeah, it sounds shocking. Think of the perspective of how it was said, because, right, you've got one that's mixed race, and you've got Prince Harry's ginger, Surely it might have just been an off-the-cuff question as a sort of humour, yeah. but obviously when you're kind of that posh and you're trying to be funny, it's not going to come over as funny. Do you know what I mean? But, yeah. It may not have been a serious question, but it may have... Obviously, she's just totally been... The, well, both yeah. of them have took it maybe the wrong way. I don't know. But, I mean, even still, the allegations are... I mean, it's, 
it is shocking, isn't it? It's the question is who said it. We know who yeah. hasn't said it because I seen yeah. Oprah got asked if she knew who said it. She said, I don't know who said it, but I know who hasn't said it. And she said it wasn't the Queen and it wasn't Prince Philip. Yeah. So who was it? Well, yeah. when you heard that, I was like at the time watching, it, I was like, that's such a Prince Philip thing to say. Because he said some awkward stuff in the past. Yeah. Which is probably why Harry's went, it wasn't Philip, because everyone would just think it's him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. The thing is, though, like, whatever's happened, they're obviously not happy. Just let them go do whatever they want to do to make themselves happy. I mean, right? as well, what annoys me, people go, oh, they're just doing it to get money. Well, yeah, he got all his money cut off. He's got to make money somehow. He's not going to go and work in Greg's, he, he didn't get paid. He didn't get paid for the Oprah interview. Yeah, but I know, I'm not for that. I mean, you know, the Netflix and yeah, yeah. his podcast, he's a rival to us. He's doing a podcast. Yeah, um, yeah <laughs> Ninja podcast. Um, how else are they going to make money? That's it, He's not going to go and work in Argos and get your package for you in the back, is it? <laughs> Order number five, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. People just... But did you see the Piers love, Morgan thing? Yeah, the thing I love about it the most is when something big happens like this, or making mm. a murderer, or some massive incident... I love that people get on the keyboards and everyone has everyone's, an opinion. Yeah, everyone's everyone got... And if somebody doesn't agree with your opinion, you're wrong. Oh, it's, it's just yeah. it's bonkers. What happens to freedom of speech? It's not allowed anymore. Well, can't, yeah, apparently it's not a, a, not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get on to that in a minute because there's something else that's annoyed me recently. But the just talking about Piers Morgan thing, spit his dummy out. It's just, I'd like, I'm, it, that is really unexpected because usually Piers Morgan is just be like, no, what I'm saying, I agree yeah, with. Yeah. Like, he was kind of just asked to like, maybe watch what he's saying because obviously things that Megan was saying, but then it's just going, yeah, I'm sorry, maybe I'll look at it a different light. He just kind of walked off and went, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm going to say something weird. now. I'm going to say something now, John. I don't know if you agree, but. I like Piers Morgan. Most most things, not all, because some he said some shocking things. Most things he says, I'm like, yeah, yeah, fair enough. He's um, he plays a character. I I hundred percent think he's playing a heel character, isn't it? He? Yeah. He's not. Come on, when he does that clip of him trying a vegan sausage roll and spitting it out, he's not that disgusted by it. He's just yeah. Like, he, he knows what makes money. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But, like, when he is being honest and he's saying these honest opinions, most of the time, he's not close to the mark. You know what I mean? That's why he's close to the mark. Like, he's... Mm. When he's honest, I, I, I agree with him most of the time. Yeah, I just think... say most of the time. The thing with the Megan thing, he... He just had to admit that he was maybe a bit harsh. That's all he had to do. Yeah. Like, he's kind of made them look himself look even a bigger knob than he usually does. But now he's got another TV contract, hasn't he, straight away? <laughs> yeah. Who hey, well, if I haven't seen it, it's wild. I haven't, to be fair. You're probably BBC. on the BBC. I can't see BBC getting in. Why? BBC have had um, a fair few <laughs> colourful characters, should we say. Yeah. That sounds like know. an unpoid on BBC then, isn't it? So, the, the other thing that's kind of annoying me at the minute is the cancel culture idea of things. Which, again, I'm going to be careful what I say because I don't want to offend anyone. But the big thing they're trying to cancel at the minute is Eminem. Yes, right, I've seen this, but I don't entirely know the, the whole... But, right, on. think... I don't know how, like, you know I'm a big fan of Eminem, right? Yeah. No. I think, I don't know how many Eminem songs you know, Kieran. I, I know, I know quite a lot. I, I'm, no, there's yeah. some, but uh, to be fair, some of the content in them, but they're not like him saying how he, it's, Eminem's really complex. I don't think people realise this. He's not rapping as himself. Mm. He raps as a character. Yeah. The Slim Shady character. 
So basically, his songs, to me, his songs are telling a story as if you're watching a film. Yeah. You're not, you're not going to go, well, oh, they shouldn't show Saw, because it's violent. Also, just to add on to that, bear in mind, Eminem's mum took drugs. You know, he yeah. lived, you know, in a deprived area. His life isn't going to be rainbows and, you know, milky bars. He's, yeah, but as well, in his private life, he's probably, from what I see, he's actually quite quiet and, you know, he adopted, like, his brother and looks after and his half-sister or cousin or something. Right. So he's just a normal guy, but, you know, he has this rap persona where he's this... But he, he does on purpose. He does these sort of outlandish songs. The one song they're trying to cancel him over is the Love the Way You Lie song. Which I don't think is the most violent song he's ever done. Yeah, wait, that's with Rihanna. Yeah. I don't oh wait, I know the song, but why what's so bad about it? It's the lyric, um I can't remember the exact lyric, but it's something like I might be maybe the wrong lyric, but it's something like if I ever find out you're a liar and we'll tie you to the bed and set it on fire. Right, okay. No, but, because of that one lyric. Yeah. And there's a worse lyrics that he said. Yeah. The I mean, like cancel Eminem. Think of Superman. Well yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean but, right. So the thing about that is God. When did we get political and everything? So that song is about a couple. It's a a, 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 a fake couple that are so mm. in love that they argue all the time. Yeah. That is that is love. Like people, you, if you love each other, you're going to argue about you know what I mean. And you scream yeah. at each other and you make up. Mm -hmm. That's real life. So why people try and can't? I mean, obviously, I mean the the, the tying us to bed bit is a bit out there. Um, the, we should start a campaign. Maybe we should get Eminem to number one. <laughs> yeah. Just to annoy with, everyone. With what song, though? What about I Guilty like, Conscious? Yeah, I love Guilty Conscious. Yeah. I was thinking maybe it's just my name is. Because yeah. he says my name is Slim Shady. He's not saying Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just annoying. I mean, they're trying to cancel South Park as well, which is another one which... Yeah, again, right? <laughs> South Park. Think about what you're watching. South Park, yeah. If you don't, if you don't know what, if you don't like it, don't watch it. But South Park pokes at fun of real things that that happen. So, for example, like oh God, the, I mean, the poke fun at everyone. Yeah, I mean, I, t I tell you a couple of instances where it's just the press just kind of go off on one. So they got sort of slayed for the Temi character, right? Yeah, yeah. Their, their response was, yeah, we've got a handicapped character, but no way do we make fun of him because he's handicapped. No, they don't. He's included in, like, every activity they do. And, and he's the first handicapped character I've ever seen on TV. Yeah. Yeah? As a cartoon character, you mean? Yeah, like, I've never seen a handicapped person on TV, like, you know, in that way. And South Park was probably the first one. Mm. But he's totally included and I don't yeah. see what the problem is. Another instance was, I, you really have to explain this joke, but I remember it being like Sky News constant about that, right. is when Steve Irwin died. Right. So, so what South Park do, they make the episode literally, it could be the day before airing. So they included him in an episode literally like two days after he died. Right. But again, not taking the mic at how he died, it was more yeah. of how another character was acting. So the, <laughs> the basis of the episode was, you know, uh, the MTV show, like, My Sweet Sixteen? Yeah, yeah. So the devil <laughs> is uh, having a sweet 16. Right. But he's being a proper, like, drama, like a diva about it. Like, uh, everything's I want to be right. Ferrari. Yeah, so he has a fancy dress party. Okay. Is the one I don't know if he's he's not really watched it, do you? But Big Smalls is in it as well. Um, and so everyone's turning up in these costumes, and the people looking after the party come to the devil go, Devil, I'm really sorry, but someone's turned up in a Steve Irwin costume. Can you speak to them? And 
I just think it's real disrespectful. Right. So he goes to me, and it's Steve Orwin, it's, it's, it's a cartoon card with Steve Orwin with a stingray in him. And wow. he goes, right, and he goes to him, he goes, oh man, that's really disrespectful. You're going to have to leave the party. And then it's Steve Orwin, and Steve Orwin goes, no, no, it's me, I'm really Steve Orwin. And then the devil just goes, oh, right, well, you've not got a costume on, so you're going to have to leave anyway. <laughs> That's right, the joke. See. The joke yeah. is that he's been that much of a diva, not the fact that Steve Irwin and these. Right, just... see. But it was blown out of proportion that the fact that they're just taking the mick out of Steve Irwin, which wasn't right. the case. But see that I see that in a lot. Like people see something and then jump on it without actually watching the episode. Do, do you not think of that? Have you ever watched Derek? Yes. No, the Rick, press Ricky before Jibbs. the press before Derek was actually out was, can't believe Dracula Gervais is doing this, he's making fun of autistic people and that, without even having seen it. Now, if you watch Derek, yeah. it's actually quite a heartfelt sort of comedy. Yeah, yeah. And it's, he's not taking the mick out of someone that's got autism. He's more yeah. just, it's about life and a carol. There's, right? a, there's another really good example, right? So if I, if I say this on paper, it sounds horrendous, but the film is, is not what it seems. So Johnny Knoxville pretends to be a handicapped um, Olympic Olympic against the Special yeah. Olympics. It's called the, ring, the film's called The Ring Game. Now that sounds terrible, but the actors in it are actually disabled, mm -hmm. aren't they? And it's such a, like a heartwarming film about you know the struggles kind of p disabled people go through, you know, to get into the Olympics, and it shows them like as not like I say normal people. You know what I mean? They have laughs, they prank each other. But I remember when that first came out, everyone was like, oh my God, John Oxford was playing a handicapped person. Yeah. You haven't even seen the film. You don't even know what the film's about. But he's not playing a handicapped person. He's playing someone pretending to be a handicapped person. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? People just love to jump on a bandwagon. And I know. Without knowing the full story. Like, a lot of times when I see sort of them sort of headlines, I think, right, I'm going to have to look at it and then make my own decision. I've, I've stopped reading newspapers. I don't read newspapers anymore. Well, yeah, I, yeah, I don't. Because um, I just know what you're seeing. It is a lot of bullshit after. Well, on Facebook, you get like a, um, this happens all the time. So let's say um, teacher is beaten up by students, da da da, and the headlines are, "Oh my god, I cannot believe a student beat up a teacher." You click on it, and that's not even the story. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just that's what is the world at the minute. Um, anyway, going on to something a bit positive, going on to something a bit lighter, anyway, um, somebody wanted to see your rock jersey, so you've decided to wear it today, so you want to give us a little, okay, there you go. This, is, this isn't like a reproduced, you know I love saying it's vintage, this yeah. is vintage, this is from 2000. So I honestly say John wears but, it all the time. <laughs> I do, the story with this though. So I used to buy the WWF magazine, and I think we mentioned this on the, uh, the it was the How the Big Boys Play episode. Like, was that episode three? Yeah. So I mentioned it. It was just wasn't possible to order things on the internet, but so you, had, you got this bit in this magazine, and this was on it, and I've always wanted it. And I seen it on eBay for like a tenner, and I was like, I'm having it. And it's in, it's as if it's brand new. Yeah. It's like my favourite top. I wanted for years the, um, only oh, two things, the DX jersey and the Shane O'Mac jersey. And I finally got a Shane O'Mac jersey. Um, yeah. I, well, they, oh, never, they never used to sell them, no. which baffles me, because it... I, Definitely would have been one of the big sellers. As soon as it was available to buy, I was out buying it. I think, yeah. remember when we were going to the first Raw we went to together? Mm. I was going to make one because I was like, I want to make like a Shane and Mac. Yeah. Thing, but then eventually they came out. But the only way I could get, I don't know about you, but the only way I was able to get like WWF t shirts was going to like sh printing shops on the prom that's, you know, where it would say yeah, yeah. 100. 100% unofficial on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I had... It's the only way to um, buy them. I had wrestling... T this is when I was like six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wrestling t-shirts. So, you know, like proper ones as a kid that your mum buys mm. you. 
Like yeah. the, it has like the printout of these like a wrestler, a Undertaker, <laughs> and a few of them. I had a whole Corgan one, but it was when he was in the film Suburban Commando. Have you ever seen that one? Yeah. I also remember having it. I've no idea where it came from. I think it may have been probably bought on the prom. Yeah. Um, Good old Blackpool promenade. <laughs> it's how thing. Fags rocks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else been happening this week? Um, okay, that's some exciting news. So um, I'm getting married in September. We we was only arguing whether the, we the wedding will actually go ahead. Um, mm. But lockdown is ending soon and the wedding is going to go ahead so we're all we all steam you know all, all full steam ahead so i've been getting fit just want to get rid of my my beer belly and whatever anyway long story short i've got a fitbit oh yeah is that going there are you constantly looking at your steps and stuff yeah but it keeps buzzing i'm like oh what's that and then <laughs> it's just weird I, yeah i'm not used to it yet mm. so yeah just yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in, um, I had a banana mixed ras uh, mixed fruit um, smoothie, and I added some spinach in it as well with some Not almond bad. milk. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know how I feel about almond milk. You can't really in a smoothie. You can't really taste it. A bit of mm. spinach, bit of fruit. Yeah, oh. Very good. Happy you're not homeschooling anymore. Oh, are you missing? God, are you yes. missing that? No, no, she went back to school and like, bye. <laughs> but the thing is, right, do you know what's weird is, so my daughter, during lockdown, she was acting up, being a little, you know what I mean? Oh, God. Mm. And since she'd gone back to school, the behaviours changed overnight. I think it's just because she was bored, she was restless. She wanted, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just, it's amazing what's happened from her being back at school. It's having that company, in it, of... Uh, like people your own age, I guess. And as well, right? So I said, I said on the first day, oh, right, so, so what have you learned at school today? And I thought she'd go, oh, I learned maths. Oh, we did a bit of English. Do you know, do you know what she learned on the first day back at school? Go on. Sign language. Oh, wow. The, yeah, well, I was in, why? Would you be a handy thing to know? Yeah, but surely, like, why not do maths first? <laughs> like, I don't know, just in my head. She goes, she goes, this is Monday. Monday, Monday. And I'm like, what are you doing? She's like, I'll learn sign language. I was like, what a bizarre thing to learn. Like, I know I know some some of it. It's Makaton, I know. Is that what she was doing, Makaton? I have no idea. I know just um, Justin Fletcher, like Mr. Tumble, sign language. Mm. Yeah, I think he does Makaton. So that's cake. Yeah. Uh, Apple. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, anyway, but I, 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 I thought it was quite a, as far as a bizarre thing. Yeah, but I, I wish I got to talk that. I'd love to know if sign language properly. Thing is, I don't know one deaf person that I could do sign language to. I tell you something, man, when I, like obviously I used to be a barman. <laughs> Here we go. I love this. <laughs> when I used to be a barman, I love these stories. Go on. Um, there's so there's this family that came over and one of their sons was deaf, but he was like 40, 50, and he didn't speak any sign language. And his mum and dad were the ones that came in and they had no idea how to speak to me. They just had to kind of guess what he was on about. It's really quite sad, actually. But he was a nice guy. He was good little he was lip reading, he was good at. Right, I see, yeah. But yeah. I think he was even better because obviously he's Scottish, so and Scottish speak quite fast, so yeah, you yeah, pretty much understand like anyone, like, yeah, yeah, it's really bizarre. That's do we have you never had anyone deaf come in? <laughs> yeah, in I've, had, I've, had, I've had customers come in and like they've asked us, and I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get that. And, and they, you know, they say like they move the mouth and they, you know, they do their sign language. I go, God, I'm really sorry. And then the third time, I'm just go. Uh, right, and I, I just guess what you want because I don't want to ask three times because I feel dead rude. <laughs> Do you not get like a pen and a bit of paper? No. Mm, that's what I would have done. Yeah. I always feel like, not awkward, but when you get someone with a stutter, I kind of like, you don't want to finish a sentence, do you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But 
these I mean these people have these things, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, if, with you. With me. I've just been working it. <laughs> I've yeah. worked through lockdown, so I haven't had a lockdown. I've not had a shift since October last year. Well, it's nearly by the time this goes out, it'll be a year to the day that I actually had corona. You did? You had, yeah, you had corona. I had it before there was like tests available and stuff like that. But you I, was really young. I slept for two weeks. <laughs> yeah. And I've, I haven't fully got my taste back, which is weird. I noticed it the other day. Um, so I locked down started in March and I went back in June and I didn't have my taste back then. Which is hard if you're a chef. <laughs> I can imagine. I, I used to make stuff like spicy food, really spicy, which for like a four and under isn't the best thing. <laughs> but I noticed the other day, I can't fully taste sweet things yet. Oh, that, that would be, that's a nightmare for me. I can taste sweet things, but it's, it's not like super sweet. Like I made sweet corn soup. I was like tasting it and I was like, oh, I want this sweeter. And I got someone else to taste it and they were like, oh, that's sweet enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know if it, but yeah. It's well, bad. Do you know what I'm doing tomorrow? I do, yeah. Do you want to? I'm getting my vaccination. How are you feeling about that? Yeah, fine. Apparently, there's two different ones. And if you get one of them, um, it can make you really ill, you know, side effects and headache and everything. But you don't know what one you're getting? No idea. I just got a text message. Your GP has recommended you have a... Mm. Also, it's because I have a heart condition, but not because I'm ginger, if anyone <laughs> thinks that. <laughs> I hope so, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I'm, well, I don't know when I'm getting mine. I did that calculator. There's a calculator thing you can do online, isn't there? I'm sure mine know. said, like, May or June. No, no, what is this? So this is a calculator where you put in all your details, like have you got any underlining health conditions, what age are you, stuff like that. And it can, because of what they like, I guess it works out by what they sort of said, what point it would be at. It might be a bit earlier now, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, looking forward to getting it. <laughs> Yeah. It's got to be done, isn't it? Um, I know we always say we don't talk about wrestling, but should we talk about wrestling a little bit? Um, <laughs> that long talking about it. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. d- did you see <laughs> the horror show that was AEW's ending? Also, wow. what like last week we did predictions on who the person coming in, and I don't think any of us thought Christian, because we thought Christian is the same with WWE. Yeah, because he was in the Royal Rumble, so that was a bit of a shock. Yeah, it was. Um, the barbed wire match. I'm just a bit speechless. Like I was watching, I was like, you "No, know, I've I've watched a lot of them matches. They're quite, you know, popular in Japan. Yeah, and Mick, yeah, yeah. Mick Foley's been in them. They never look good. The explosion never looks that good. It's just fireworks going off." Yeah, but the it's fireworks always... weren't anywhere close to the middle of the ring. Like, well, they, just... they, didn't, they didn't go off properly, did they? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it was... <sighs> it was bad, weren't it? It's, it's got WCW vibes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> um, hopefully they sort that out. But, um, like, AEW have been going kind of up a bit, and then because of that, they've just... It's a small cool. hiccup, isn't it? I think, yeah. I think getting Christian's a good uh, signing. It's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's Christian. I mean, it got everyone talking. Everyone was, like, trying to work out who it was. People thought it might have been Kurt Angle, because Kurt Angle was sort of being cryptic. Yeah, I wonder what that's about. I wonder if he's going to Ring of Honor or somewhere like that. Maybe. I don't know. WWE. Uh, what fast WWE line coming up soon? Yeah, big one. Big. Biggest pay per view of the year, Fastlane. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. But the good thing I do like about Fastlane is I know WrestleMania is around the corner. Yeah. So. Uh, so I sent you the week, didn't I? I think you put it on our socials, didn't you? What a week that is. Yeah. Yeah, you've got, yeah, yeah. 
the WrestleMania weekend. You got NXT and stuff. Yeah. Looking forward to it. That's, I mean, who's the main event? We still kind of don't know, do we? WrestleMania. Mm. Well, Bobby Lashley. Do you think he'll be champion still? I hope not. <laughs> the Fiend is yet to come back. Yeah, but so is a lot of people. I thought even Marie was going to come back. I thought, you know, all these people are going to come back, but they, they haven't. I thought Ronda Rousey was going to come back. Mm. That's what I mean. WWE have this amazing talent. They're going, this is what you can have. <laughs> and then they go, really, pull it back. Um, I mean, it's normally good, isn't it? WrestleMania. Normally good. I don't like it, but yeah. Um, I mean, it's no WrestleMania 21 or anything, but I'm sure... It's I'll... never going to be, is it? Until they start sort of using people properly. Yeah. But, just... listen, the cup is half full, not what, half what? empty. Well, I don't think we've ever spoke about this, but have you seen the thing about them telling not to slap their thighs? Yeah. Um... <laughs> Yeah, it's bizarre. For, what? Um, For me, I, I, I've never noticed that they do it. I know that's how, when they do super kicks, that's what you do to make that loud sort of noise. Mm. But it's not like a look at them doing it. I don't know why. It's obviously something that's really annoying Vince McMahon. Yeah, he's obviously seen it. But like I said, it's so quick, you don't even notice they do it. No. It's bizarre, and as well, it? that noise has so much depth into the move. You've got to admit. Yeah, because it's, um, it's basically saying no super kicks, isn't it? Yeah. Because you can't do a super kick without that. Like, yeah. Sound effect, or it's just not going to look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. But, um, yeah, there's nothing else much happening, is there? No. Count down the days till you can go to a pub. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When that happens, I, I reckon we'll be doing an episode together, won't we? Oh, yeah, we will. Well, well um, go on. I was going to say what we're thinking of doing, but... Yeah, no, we'll leave that for now, actually. Right. Okay. But, yeah, well, I think, especially when NXT comes to Blackpool, mm. we'll get into NXT, we'll interview some people on the street, make some buzz, it'll be good. Yeah. And we can actually do the um, video game episode that we want to do. That's what I was going to say, we're thinking of doing a video game one. Oh, I thought you were about these. I thought about something else. The uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Little tease there, Kieran. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I think if people want to get in touch about video games, but we're thinking of kind of doing it through the ages of how it progresses. Because mm. it's like I've got a good game system where it's kind of got them all on it. Yeah, yeah. It'd be interesting to see what it was like and then what where we're at now. I think. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, 2K doesn't compare to... No, yeah, but yeah. SmackDown was so good to play. So much uh, fun. So easy. Yeah. But it's the achievement thing now, isn't it? And uh, you... Yeah, I mean, we'll go into it, but... Yeah. Yeah, call it... I think I'll finish with tea. Yeah, is that all for tea talk? I, I think, think so. Tea. Um... We've got a good interview, which will be available on Wednesday. We've got a great interview. Yeah. Oh, it's fascinating. Yeah. It's really, so it's, it's really sort of talking about old school British wrestling, but there's some good stories in there. Oh, about, funny, uh, yeah. British. yeah. So that's coming on Wednesday. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, Give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a comment, say hello to the Scottish Stud. If you're listening <laughs> on our audio platform. Again, where's your teapot sat? Why has no one got a teapot? Let's bring the I teapot tea back. Teapots aren't a thing anymore, John. All oh, right, a few things. People buy a right. teapot. I want to see teapots. Contest. Anyone watching this, go and stream Eminem, my name is, and get to number one. If we get this, this, number one, right. let's cancel cancel culture because I've had enough of it now. Yeah, <laughs> you've touched my boy. You've touched my boy. Um, you're trying to get rid of South Park. It's not on. 
No, He's on one, isn't it? I'm sick of it now. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, it wrestle will be next. That's... So you that's know, the free job. Don't, don't no, you're laughing. Don't get on to it. You're laughing. you got to stop it now. Nip it in the bud. Get rid of it. <laughs> Somebody get a teapot to make on our pin. <laughs> um... Anyone, if anyone tries this jam, jam on toast tea, if you haven't, go and get it. Honestly, game changer. Yeah, game I'm, changer. Jake, that, that's quite a statement. <laughs> uh, yeah, give us a like, subscribe, and comment. Mm -hmm. Send us pictures. <laughs> uh, send uh, your, your well wishes to Kieran on getting his vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and uh yeah we'll have a next a next tea talk will be next week so we'll talk again soon thank you for watching yeah. cheers <laughs> is that right